Happy Saturday, everyone. Hope your Saturday morning is off to a great start. Weather-wise, looking pretty good. Some ominous clouds out here at our Kannapolis camera. That's showing some heat and humidity already building. And look at the temperatures. 84 Rockingham, 82 in Salisbury, 74 in Hickory, the cooler spot out of the area. Boone is even beating you. Boone at 76 right now. A lot of clouds out there, but not a lot of showers. We do see a few showers developing here in York County as well as Gaston County. But by the time we get to this afternoon, this radar is going to be a little bit more active with shower and thunderstorm chances. If you're heading out to the big game tonight, the big Charlotte FC match, we're going to see temperatures starting off around 90 degrees at five o'clock. So if you're out tailgating, uh, you want to make sure that you stay cool out there. It's going to be pretty hot as we start to kick off the match. 86 degrees with isolated storms and hopefully by 9 p.m. a Charlotte FC victory. Temperatures falling into the low 80s and again that 30 to 40 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms. So take that rain jacket, that poncho with you just in case if we were to see a shower or thunderstorm. Future cast showing those showers and thunderstorms starting to develop in the mountains first. This is around 2 p.m. As we get through the afternoon and evening hours, we see those showers and thunderstorms develop up in here along the Interstate 77 corridor. And then as we get into the later new afternoon and evening hours, those showers and thunderstorms still hanging around Charlotte and south, but a lot of those showers and storms weakening as the sun goes down. So it's not going to be like last weekend where those showers and storms hang on forever. Flash flood threat for the mountains and the foothills. Any storm that does happen today could produce some flash flooding concerns. So we've got that moderate, um, slight to moderate risk up there. Uh, also lightning and damage and wind gusts. Any storm that does develop this weekend, today and tomorrow, could produce some damage and wind gusts as well as some intense lightning. That heat dome that's been giving us that heat and humidity of where it seems like forever, is finally gonna break down a little bit. We see this little dip into the jet stream and that's going to give us some increased moisture chances as well as some lower temperatures that's going to be displayed on our seven day forecast. Before we get to that, I do want to mention this the National Hurricane Center highlighting this area off the African coast right now. It's a tropical wave that's about to move into Atlantic. So for the short term, no chance of development, but we'll have to watch long term chances right now. They're pretty low.